have so much work that I feel is unfinished or it was such a part of my learning curve that I never really got to uh, really give it the attention to detail that it deserves. I do, I do like what I've made, but I'm, I think as it's gone unsold, I just, I think that there's, there's so much more I can do. This is the, this is the bin pile. <laughs> Hi everyone, I am back again with another video, keeping it with the consistency. And uh, this week I want to talk to you about going over old work and genuinely what you think about it. I go back and forth. My learning curve was real <laughs> and some of my old work is just, well to not put too fine a point on it, a bit shit. But um, I do think some of it can be can be made better, more saleable. I can give it a go. We'll see. Anyway, here's three pieces that I updated um, a few months ago, if not a few months ago, <laughs> a really good few months ago. I'm not sure. Everything's a blur. Anyway, um, take a look at some of these. So this is a very, very early painting and to the point of where I just put watercolour pencils onto an actual canvas. And of course, because when you do that and you put the canvas anywhere near the sun, everything bleached out, the proportions are off. I don't know what's going on with her mouth, she's going through some issues. But I thought I'd give it another go with some acrylics. This was the result. It's spray paints, mixtures of acrylics. I still think I would do something a little bit different to her forehead because it's a little intense, maybe add some more hair there. But there's always more you can do, but that, it was more in line with the story that they was going with the birds and the, and the nest and the, uh, the eggs and that sort of renewal autumnal vibe. Uh, this one was just shocking. It's just, I, I'm not a giant fan at all of what I was doing. I had this idea in my head and it just wasn't coming together. Um, I did try my best with it, but it just, um, it just sat in the corner rotting and I really wanted to try and give it another go to see if it would work out at all. Oh, this is, there we go. And, um, this is what I did with it. I put way more colour into it. I tried to flesh the face out a little bit more so that it would have more character and tried to write more story into it. It was quite hard because you're painting acrylics over acrylics, so it was kind of hard to layer that in a way that wouldn't just look like I'd wrecked the whole thing, but I am actually okay with how that came out, although the horns were a little bit... Um, all over the place. This one I actually hung in a gallery once and it was it's never ever felt quite finished. It's never felt finished. But um, I do, I did want to see if I could do something else with it. Again it was just, she was more something that was in the corner of the art space calling me to try and get something, something done with her. And then um, a few layers of spray paint later and ooh, and this is what happened. <laughs> that was a mistake there. <laughs> uh, yeah, I do like how she came out. I am, of all of them, I think I'm gonna, I could hold on to this one or put this one in a, uh, in a part of the house, maybe my music room. I'm not sure, but I do like, I do like what's happened with her. So, um, yeah, the, the landmines and the, the jellyfish are a little bit more prominent. And uh, yeah, I think she came out okay. Uh, the next one, I don't have a before picture because um, I just can't find one anywhere, but it was really, really, everything was primary colours and it was terrible. Again, when I first did this, uh, going over it, I did it in watercolour, so I had to go back over it years later in acrylics to make sure nothing fell off the canvas or totally bled out, but um, yeah, kind of okay with this one as well. Now I have sold so many pieces from my bin pile, like quite literally I was about to throw stuff out and someone, a friend or a friend of a friend has asked to buy and uh, yeah, so that's happened. So there is always this back and forth between what you find beautiful and what somebody else will. But there's also a time when you've done a piece of work that just feels unfinished and then after a while you want to add a new skill set to it and there's the worry of are you going to wreck the whole thing and uh, yeah I just don't know. Uh, those three paintings that I just showed you, four I think, uh, I'm not entirely happy with the finished product on any of them so maybe they were just 
better off left as they were, or maybe, maybe it's just time to completely redo them. Because this, this is an earlier painting, one of the very first that I um, really started to get into. This was actually one of the first paintings where I thought to myself, ooh, I can actually create a decent image here. It's, that's why it's hanging in my living room. But on a completely separate canvas, I wanted to give it another go to see if I could do it any more justice with my new skills. And I didn't destroy the old work to do it. So maybe that's, maybe that's the answer. Or maybe the answer is both and just play and maybe just not take the whole thing so seriously. And uh, it's, it just needs sorting. It just needs, if you feel, I think if I feel like a, a something can be adjusted by maybe, I don't know, changing the eyes, because there are some times you make horrible mistakes. If it's just something about changing the eyes, I'll do that. If not, then I'll start the whole thing again. But I am going to revisit some of my old works and I am going to redo some of my old canvases because I think I can do them more justice now, even, even if that's worth risking destroying the whole thing. Wish me luck. <laughs>